Okay, so we're gonna go over scoliosis. Uh, cool. So on your, obviously it's, it's already mapped for you, but let's just simulate this. I'm gonna go to edit study. Your, your scoli views are, are for lower extremity, it's gonna be called long length, leg length, uh, the AP or the lateral. And then for scoliosis, it's literally under scoliosis, the AP, the PA, or the lat, depending on what you do. We'll start with your more popular one, which is I'm assuming the leg length. So there it is there in the bottom. So now that view is gonna be right here in the bottom right, tap on it. Now we're gonna go in the room. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is just auto center. And then you see how it's a little collimation is a little tight over there. It's in that scoliosis mode. We're gonna bring our guy over. You guys already have one of these, I think. Yeah. Now with this one, since it's automated, you, you want to get it close to there, but you don't want to put it all the way like towards the back. So there's like a little line right here. You want to get it kind of lined up there, but you want to leave a little bit gap in the back. That way when it's doing its, its auto motion, it's not rubbing up against it. Then you can just position there how you want. When you're happy, you just lock it in. Uh, your LLI grid, you guys won't need it here because you guys have a 17 by 17 plate. Um, so the multi-focus grid, when it gets in, it'll be good enough for it. Okay. Uh, same concept here, right? You would just lift it up if you wanted to. Um, we do recommend using the straps. Not sure if you guys use the straps over there on your other one. Um, the way the straps work. Uh, is you actually put it in front of the weight set? Like that. Uh, and then... It just kind of holds in there. That's yeah. nice. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so remember that it goes in the front. This is really good for scoliosis. Yeah. Okay. But it goes in the front of the patient. It's kind of confusing. So. And then you just literally put pressure up against it. And we'll just use it as it is now. You do that. Um, very good. So now you come over to your tube head. You're still in this uh, long length imaging mode. You see that it looks a little bit different here. There's a little couple of icons. We're gonna mark, we're gonna angle the top and then mark our top. We're gonna to angle the bottom and mark our bottom and then calculate the OID. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the top. Let's just say that was uh, top of the crest, right? Let's just assume. And then right here, I wanna say this is the top of the image that I wanna capture. Okay. Then I'm gonna angle down. And then I'm gonna say, oh, I'm going towards the feet, right? The, the ankles or so. And there you can see, where's that? Is that right here? And here is gonna be the bottom. Then to help with the stitching, you're gonna calculate OID. So if you come over here, you have a little ruler here and a little ruler there. And you're just going to the center of the part. So if it was um, me, you don't have to be perfect about it. You can just kind of guess them. I'd be like, what, 20? To your mid corona? So you're, yeah, yeah, you're about 20. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just help the decision. Okay. And then I, over here, I put 20. There. Then now when I'm happy, I just hit set. If I need to start all over again, I hit reset. I'm just going to hit set. It calculated three images. So come back. Let's come back here. And then here you'll see on the system itself that it said, here's our leg length and there's one, two, and three. We have this AEC for the first one because I'm assuming a pelvis and then it's gonna go uh, manual on the rest. So all you have to do is rotor, push all the way down and you're gonna keep on holding. You're gonna keep on holding until that last one is done. And then when you're done, you just let it go. Cool, there's your image, simple as that. Um, you could cross over to the seam one, the seam two. So you can still move your image around if needed be. 
Um, it's, it does work differently though than the other one does. It's processing the image as one big image, so that's why it takes a little bit uh, longer to process, but mm -hmm. the image is gonna come out way better. Um, so I always recommend when you're starting to switch from like left to like without, is to turn off the processing, and by that you just turn this guy here. And then this is how to shift, uh, how many pixels or millimeters you're moving it from right to left. So if you wanted to shift them, you could, or you could use fiducials. Have you guys used fiducials over there? No. I'll show you fiducials. You see how there's a 79 there and there's a 79 there? Mm -hmm. I'm marking that same point as that same point, and then it's going to overlap them. So that's it. That's if the stitching doesn't work, you know, well. But if you have it, if you have the patient not moving, it's going to work really, really well. Okay. I like the stitches, the, the fiducials. At that point, once you have that image, I, didn't, I, I apply the processing. It just helps with, like, you when you're switching over back and forth. Okay. That's it. So now let's just do the same thing, but for scoliosis. Edit study, spine, scoliosis. We'll just do a, a lateral. So now it's going to be there. Let's go back into the room. I'm going to then auto center. The way it lines up. I want to hit my tracking and bring the system all the way up. And then at that point, I'm done with the remote. That's confusing. Same concept. And then I'm going to come to my tube head. I like. I want to angle up. Let's say this is maybe the infraorbital line. That's the top of my capture. Able down to about ACES or so, right? There it is. I same concept. I would do my OID, but this time it would be. It was for my lateral. It would change a little bit, right? I'd be something like 20, 25, 25, 26. 26. And I say set. It's gonna calc. Come back over here. Same concept. We're green. I calculated two. Rotor and spoke. That's the second shot. It's only two for this one. I can let go. And the same concept as the as the um, bone length. There it is. Um, we already changed the settings. So when I come back here and I hit accept, it's going to send the component images as well as well as a stitched image. Or if I hit end study, either way. They're, okay. they're all gonna go. Got it. Same with this one, it'd be three plus the one. Okay. Okay, that's all.